sleep? I hit him with a car and he's just resting on top of the hood. Hello everybody, Grace 2 plays, and we're back with more My Summer Stalker. So there's been an update to the game. On the experimental branch, you can't lie to me, developer. I know. I know because my Finnish super strength has been deactivated. I am weak once more. So I have the uh, the sauna on. I'm just gonna leave it like that. There is a real issue right now. A real issue. I don't think that there's any beer inside the house. And the sauna is not operating as it once did. It does not, oh my God, there's like four beers in the whole house. Five beers. This is a freaking travesty of justice. So there's a few things that we gotta do today. The update supposedly contains a creeper. Some random dude that wanders around the map, sad and depressed. We have to find him. And then we have to kill him. Actually, yeah, we're probably gonna kill him. I was gonna say, maybe we don't have to kill him, but realistically, he's probably going to die. So without super finished strength over here, I have to find a way out of the house. But it shouldn't be hard. The finished headbutt has served us well for generations. So all you have to do is get on back here. Oh, for the love of Jesus. Get on back here. And now, oh, 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 did you see that? See that? Hold on. You gotta be real right there. Bam. Right there. Fit. Hold on. <laughs> oh, my. my basketball. Um, I'm just gonna leave that there right now. We have to get our car to, what the hell? Oh, that must have been the bike. We have to get our car too. The problem is, is that I don't know where in the grand scheme of things. Oh, hi. Hi there, clip through the through the planet. I don't know where in the grand scheme of things it is. I think it's maybe, hold on. Uh, I think it's maybe over there, perhaps? We've got to get it off the roof, though, if we can. Someone's got to tell me, too. What the hell are they talking about in Topless Gun? I've been very curious on that. Also... I saw a giant discussion, well it wasn't giant, it was like eight posts long, about the proper pronunciation of Tamo. You, you folks need to make up your damn mind. You guys are finished. Well, some of you are. I'm not, okay? You gotta, you gotta tell me what's what over here. Some people said, so originally I was calling him T-Timo, but then some people said it was Timo, and now some people are saying it's Tamo. What one is it? What one? Okay. Um, oh, before we go... Oh, sweet Jesus. Don't start flipping out on me. All right, we need to turn the fuel cap. If you can't get your shitty little bike over here running, it's probably because you've got the fuel cap. Whoa! Okay. Now, we're gonna get on it. This is another lesson here from Gray. Only this time, it's gonna work a lot better than it did the last time. Start your Jonez. You want to rev it, and then you're going to kind of go through here, and then you need to close... Shit. You need to close the, the door. Really? You need to... Are you... Hold on. Boop, boop. Oh, he follows you. See the beady stick right there? He'll beat you to the left. He'll beat you to the right. We don't want none of that. Now, come on, man. Just put the hand on the door. Oh, son of a bitch. Yes! <laughs> okay, now, now that we're out here, I gotta see if I can squeeze my ass past this scumbag. Hold on, if we do reverse, maybe? Nope, that sure didn't work. All right, hold on. Uh, uh, oh, you fat bastard! Come on! All right, I've got some problems. I, uh, I think I may have, I think I may have aimed up wrong. I'm surprised I didn't get beaten the chicklets just then. Man, I didn't think half of the friggin' episode would be me trying to get past this ass. All right, put this, um, now you gotta turn it, right? Okay. Yeah, we should be able to squeeze through him. Whoa! Oh! Okay, all right. Sometimes the Jonez gets possessed by Satan, but it's, it's all right. Satana. 
possesses the Jonas every once in a while. Oh, you son of a bitch. Come on, man. Come on, man! Crap! Somehow I got the Jonas going sideways. For the love of Jesus. Okay. Just... <laughs> now it's popping a wheelie. Oh my god, this thing. Alright, there we go. That's how we do it. That's how we do it, boys. Alright, we're free. Momentarily. Now, we need to get our car off the roof. Which is a giant pain in the ass. Someone asked, they were like, In which episode did Gray's car go onto the roof? Well... Would you believe it? There wasn't an episode when it went on the roof. It just appeared up there one day. Yep. That's how this freaking game works. One day you're driving and everything's just fine. The next day your car's on the freaking roof. Let me see here. Is there any way for me to? Nope, sure isn't. All right, I got an idea. I don't think we're going to have to jump it. I'll probably end up getting myself killed anyway. All right, here's how we're going to do this. We'll grab this over here. We're going to go to the lowest part of the house. I'm going to park up next to it, and I think I can jump on with this thing. All right, so we're going to take this like this. Okay, here's my plan. Now we're going to go ahead and back this up nice and smooth. And by nice and smooth, I mean we're going to slam into the house. Boom, right there. Okay, now we're going up, baby. We're going up. Hold on. Wish me luck. Go grab a beer real quick before I attempt this crap. All right. Oh, I don't know if that's going to be high enough. Here we go. Oh, we're almost there. We're almost there. I need to figure out how to just get a little bit higher. All right, Floor Jack. Come with me. I need to get the back end of this freaking up a little bit higher. We're almost there. We're almost there. It's just not high enough. Okay. Let's see how this Floor Jack works. Should do okay, I think, for the most part. I don't know how high it goes. Should go pretty high, though. Oh, my God. The things I do for this freaking game. Oh, it's working. Yes. Yes. Okay, good. Good. How high can it go? That's it? That's as high as it goes? Son of a bitch. Is it high enough? Hold on. Is this the lowest part of the house? Because... Is there... Is there nothing else? Oh... We can almost get it right there. Oh, I never thought this would be such a giant pain in the freaking ass. Oh my god. Alright. Right like that. Put on the handbrake. Turn this thing off. That side of the house. It's just... It's just not good enough. What the hell is crashing over here? I hear something crashing randomly. I don't know what it is. One of the vehicles or something. Huh! Yes! Yes! Oh, thank you, God. Oh, my Jesus. What did you guys do to my car? Oh, you police bastards. All right. Oh, what is this music? Jesus! All right, well, for some reason, it's not it's not starting right now, but that's fine. I can figure that out later. At least it works. First things first, though. We gotta get this thing off the roof because this is ridiculous. I am not doing this again. Cops, I never thought that you would find a way to annoy the living hell out of me in such a way as you have. By putting my freaking car on the roof. Why is the car not flying off the roof? Fly off the roof, damn it! Fly off the roof, there. There we go, perfect. That was a 10 out of 10 right there. We did it. Okay, now that that's on the ground, uh, I'm gonna, <laughs> the music's still playing in the car. Oh, for the love of God. Just, just stop, stop, stop. Okay, now what else is, bro? oh my God. <laughs> Oh, no, why have you teleported through the, oh my god, oh, stop, stop, please, Jonas, oh, what has happened here on this day, there we go, all right, well, that only took the entire day, it's almost nighttime, so we're gonna have to go to sleep real quick, but then, we're gonna, oh, no, then we're gonna head back out, and we'll see if we can find this guy that's wandering around the board. That is the very first NPC that, like, legitimately walks around in the game. All right, if we put the Jonas right there, everything should be just fine. Okay, the car is good. Well, the car is in shambles. But the car's fine. Probably just a little wire or something that came off or there have you. I'll, I'll figure that out. Grab a beer. 
Oh, you know what we need to do? We need to put a beer inside the house. Because as of right now, the house has no beer in it. Right there on the bed. Okay, guys. I'm going to go take a little snooze for a moment. And I'll see you guys in the morning time. Oh, only 16 days now. Time to get back to the great finish escape over here again. Oh, I can't wait until these 16 days are up. This is a this is such a pain in the ass having to do this every day. Today is gonna be a good day, boys. I can feel it. We're already almost through the door. I just gotta close it. Ah! What the balls? What the hell happened? Boy dead and moped accident. <laughs> Nothing happened on the moped. Nothing happened on the moped. I hate you, game. I hate you. I hate you, Taemon. <laughs> Not this song again. Not this song again. <laughs> ah. Oh. Wait. It killed me and it, tele it teleported me outside the house. Yeah. Yes. Oh, thank you, God. Well, boys, I found out what's wrong with the car. <laughs> I figured out why the car won't start. You see something missing? Anything? Anything unusual missing right here? Actually, I don't know if you could see it from, from that kind of perspective. How about now? Uh, you can't really see it there either. I'll tell you what's missing. Freaking fuel tank. Yep. That'll do it. That'll do it every time. Put that on. It's been so long since we did any work on the car. I feel like this is actually necessary, you know? You can't you can't forget what the real the real aspect of this game is, okay? It's supposed to be a Finnish car building simulator. And we haven't built anything in quite some time. So I'm glad the fuel tank popped off. I really am. I'm not glad that it, it's a friggin it takes a friggin act of Congress to get out of the house, but I'm glad that we could take a moment and put this thing together now and again. There we go, couple hidden bolts way up in there. You can't freaking hide from me, bolts. I've put this car together many, many times. All right, so I think, I think that's it. Now the question is, did the game save any gas in here for me? I don't know if the gas tank flies off if you if you are allowed to keep your gas. Come on here. Oh! Yes! 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 Okay. This is good. Um Okay, actually I have an idea. I think we left some gas inside oh, I hope that's not diesel. I think we left some gas inside of the van. If we did, we can go ahead and grab that. Hold on. Finish headbutt. Yep. Gasoline. Right over here. We're set, boys. We're going to be just fine. A little low on the gas inside of the car. But thanks to some quick thinking, eh? From old Gray. We're freaking set to go. Now we're going to find that stalker. I know he's here on the map. We just need to find him and then run him over with the appropriate car. If I ran him over with anything but the summer car... I wouldn't be doing the world justice. Okay, there we go. Oh, right there. Look at that. First try, too. How lucky is this, eh? Right up in there. In fact, I may put a couple of pieces back on the car while we're here. I can't remember what I did with my door, though. I think it's still inside of my bedroom. Oh, yeah. There we go. Feed that gas tank. Wow, this thing takes a lot of gas, actually. Can't believe how much gas is inside this gas tank. Are we going to fill up the entire... Th There's no way you fill up the entire tank with one crappy little gas tank. There we go. Holy crap, though. So, yeah. Always fill this thing up. Mother of God. It's like the black hole of finished gas tanks. All right. Let me put this back in here. We got plenty of space. The car is looking like absolute freaking sodomized bull crap. But that's fine. Uh, we have a fender over here. Oh, there's a door. Can I grab this door without you guys beating the crap out of me? That would be fantastic. Hold on, let me go ahead and grab it. There we go. Yeah, you guys didn't know what time it was. Got my racing exhaust over here. Put that on. I found a couple of fenders. We have a door or two. Oh, yeah, everything's going to be just fine. I'm going to get this thing fixed up in a jiffy, and then we'll be on our way. 
Rock and roll. Uh, and, 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 and rock and roll. Hey. Uh, bu -bu All right. Now we should be able to get the pipe on with no big deal. I used to put this on by finish headbutting through everything, but honestly, it's much, much easier to just do it this way. Much, much easier. Oh, yeah. Oh, it goes on so smooth. So delicious. Right over there. That's how I like it. Yep. Oh, yeah. Twist it in nice and hard. There we go. Got a case of beer down here, too. How lucky is that? Okay. So, oh, crap. Hold on, let me, uh, let me crouch my happy ass up here. I don't want to knock. Oh, 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 oh. Don't fall into the pit, car. For the love of Jesus, whatever you do, don't fall into the pit. As a matter of fact, hold on, I'm getting a little scared here. It's all right, we can take care of this. Little, just a little, little nudge. There we go. That's all you want. You don't want to nudge it too far. I'm going to nudge. There we go. Just like that. Just like that. It's okay. It, you got to treat the car like it's on ice. I don't know why, but it likes to slide all over the place. See, here's the other problem. You put parts on, and the damn car starts skidding. You see that right there? Hold on. Go ahead and push it over just a little bit like that right there. There we go. Okay, that's plenty. Yeah, I'm putting the fenders on. Freaking car starts swip swapping around. I'm going to tell you what. You allow it to get too far, it gets inside that pit. You're going to be sad. I know. I've been there. Nothing to see here. Just getting the fenders on. Just getting the fenders on, if I could find the bolts. A lot of these bolts are kind of levitating right now. Because, um, there's been so much damage to the body of the car that nothing's sitting in the appropriate spot anymore. Oh man, my other door is inside the freaking bedroom. Oh, I just barely can't get it as well. Alright, well, we got most of the car put back together if you look. Look at this, it's looking great. We have an exhaust on it. Just... Which is, uh, you know, it's better than what we had. Uh, we do have a muffler over here I can put on as well. That's going to be sweet. It's not the racing muffler, but it's something. So it doesn't sound like a friggin' spaceship trying to go into orbit or something. All right. We're set. We're good to go. Let's hop on in here. We got our gas tank in there so we can fill it back up over at Tamos. And then we're going to find this scumbag over here. Peel on out. Throw on the racing harness. All right, buddy. Where the hell are you at? Now, supposedly, this guy could be anywhere. His job is to wander around aimlessly in order to show topless gun if NPCs can actually, like, be on this game without getting stuck and flipping out and stuff like that. But from what I've heard, he gets stuck and flips out. And I definitely want to see that. I also want to see if he's killable. I don't want to kill him right away. I want to observe him. From a distance, okay? I wanna, I wanna see what his daily routine is. If, oh God in heaven! Oh, okay, all right. Everything's fine, everything's fine. Wow, what the hell was that? The car friggin' popped up like a top out of nowhere. I don't think we lost anything though. All the parts still appear to be on the car. I should have brought my toolkit with me because if we find more items on the road, I need to, like, continue putting them on the car so I can put this thing back together again. Now, one of the sightings I saw for this guy is up by our main township area, which is where we need to go anyway. Because, again, if I could refill up the gas tank, that would be fantastic. Oh, the car sounds so much better with a friggin' muffler on it. Man, listening to this thing without the muffler blowing out my damn eardrums. Now, keep your eyes out. Keep your eyes peeled for a random scumbag. I don't know how far he goes from the road. From what I understand, he wanders all over the map. He could be anywhere. He could be anywhere. Now you could use the, the flying mod or whatever it is, the no clip mod, I guess, to find him. But I kind of want to do it the old fashioned way. The only issue is, this is a big ass map. And I don't know if there's any type of particular pathing that he might have, like, can he go through the water? If he can go through the water, we are real screwed. I'm getting some backfiring. It looks like my, is that my oil? My oil's low? Do we have an oil leak? I mean, I guess that would make kind of sense because holy crap, I've been putting this friggin' car through the ringer. There's a problem, boys. There's a problem. Uh, but that's fine. Again, we're going back to the shop anyway. When we're there, we can buy some more oil. Uh, how's everything else? Water temperature's fine. Battery's looking good. Eh. It ain't the best. 
I can't see what my mixture level is because the damn car's all beat up. So it's blocking my view. Still looking. This guy's elusive. He's elusive like the freaking jackalope or whatever we're looking for as well. That crazy creature that wanders around. I'm keeping the RPMs nice and low. See if we can keep the temp down and stuff until I throw some more oil into this thing. All right, right over here. This should be it. This should be it. Excellent. All right, Tamo. Don't you, don't you put a hoe before a bro. I know you got some extra oil laying around for me. A little freebie for old Gray. How's our beer fort doing, by the by? If that thing isn't still standing, I'm going to be pissed. Oh, it looks like it's still standing. Nice. Okay, sweet. How is our package not here yet? I know I freaking, uh, I know I freaking mailed that package. You can't lie to me. All right, unbuckle this. Let's go grab some oil. Oh, lucky me. Some oil right here. Now, putting oil in the car is very, very important. You want to grab your motor oil, and this is the motor oil mini game. Now we need, what the, what the hell was that? What the hell was that? I took the friggin' lid off. It teleported back on. This is bullshit. Okay. Let's try this again. There. Okay. Good. All right. Now, grab your oil. And you want it. There we go. Oh, yeah. Look at how low that oil was. Oh, that could have been bad. That could have been real bad. We're going to fill this up nice and smooth. I imagine my brake fluid is also looking like crap. Because this thing, it, it doesn't stop very good anymore. Like, eventually I'm probably going to end up dying because of how poorly it stops. There we go. Okay. Full up on oil. Very good. Go ahead and close this up over here. We probably have an oil leak as well. Considering all the loose nuts and bolts and everything that's going on over here. We'll have to worry about that later. Let's go grab ourselves some fuel. Now again... Tamo, I know you got me covered, right? Yeah, Glumpsy. Come on, man. You got me covered, right? You ain't got me covered. Where's the freaking... <sighs> All right. 35 marks for this bull crap. Oh, it's our postage. 3,000? How am I going to afford that? I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to freaking clean a lot of sewers to afford that or I have to head back and uh, sell some more freaking some more um kill you all right well whatever let's go ahead and open this up there we go all right we got ourselves a little bit of coolant here let me go ahead and open these things up uh it's not terrible we're missing some brake fluid but it's actually not as bad as I thought you can see the one there is pretty oh for the love of Jesus the one there is pretty good hold on can we get can we get you filled up please Right, right, the, the master cylinder area is kind of low. There we go. Oh, for God's sakes. Crap! I just dropped my freaking brake fluid through the planet. Damn it, I hate it when that happens. Don't you hate it when your brake fluid flies through the entire planet? I don't know where it is now. It went through the ground. Ugh. All right, now you want to get nice and close. Whenever the brake fluid's giving you a real pain in the ass, you want to get nice and close, and then get right to hell on top of the engine. Just jump right into the engine like this. There we go. There we are. All right, it's good enough. It's mostly full up. We need to get back on the friggin' road. Not gonna lie. We're pretty hungry. We're pretty thirsty. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna piss and drink at the same time. Because that's, it's a good way to like, get double, double time in. You know what I mean? It's an efficient use of your time and urine right over there. Right down into the toilet. Actually, we're two for two. Let's see if we can go three for three. Look at look at this. Bam! Right there. Now, that right there is how you help the environment. Looking a little woozy, but it's not too bad. Fatigue bar starting to get there. Dirtiness meter putting the flies on me. I'm not going to lie. It freaking pisses me off. I'm a little bit surprised. We've only had three beers, and we're, we're twisting around quite a bit. Oh, it's my trunk. All right, man. See, I told you. We're getting the car back together, man. It just takes a little while. Oh, why I'm over here. Look at this. Little sausage. Just invisible right next to the uh, right next to the tree. All righty. Just shove you right in there. There we go. The wall o beer. Looking. Still looking all right. Still looking all right. Okay. Now let's see if we can find this scumbag. I see something, boys. Look. Right there! Right there! Oh my god, I can't believe I spotted him! 
Holy crap. I was just trolling around. And wouldn't you know it? There he is! There he is! Oh! Oh! Buddy! Oh shit, I got my freaking buckle on. Buddy! Buddy! Hey! Dude! Oh. Oh, he just teleported right past me. What is with the jeans fashion? In 1995 Finland. What does that say? Val... Vac... Ivalta... Lopetta... Vitulian. I feel like I've heard that phrase somewhere. Don't you go too far, buddy. Hold on. I'm so proud of you, topless gun. Look at this scumbag right over here. Look at him. He's perfect. He's perfect. I wonder if I could block him in with my car before I before I slay him. Oh, you can block him in. Holy crap. Okay. So there is physics with the car in this guy. Oh, hold on now. All right, we need to corral this guy in because you boys know what we're going to need to do. You know what we're going to need to do. Yeah, why don't you turn? Oh, he turns different directions and such, does he? Okay. All right. All right, buddy. It's time to find out. It's time to freaking find out, you boys know. Here we go. All right. Topless gun. I'm very happy that you brought a new guy into this world for us. But there's something I must do. Hold on. Go ahead and, uh... Go ahead and get a nice wind up here. There we go. Is that a... Is that a fire extinguisher? It is. Here we go, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Glad to have you in the game. <laughs> oh yeah. There we are. All right. Well. What a, what a fantastic way to, what the hell? <laughs> he's just asleep. I hit him with a car and he's just resting on top of the hood. How can this be? Listen to him. He's snoring. What a tough bastard. This dude gets hit by a car and he's doing okay. Oh, hold on. Hold on. You're good, man. You're, what the hell? Okay. Oh no! I just fixed this thing! You son of a... You gotta be kidding me! I just fixed this car! Alright. Well boys, we found the hidden NPC. Hope you enjoyed this episode of My Summer Card. Until next time! Woohoo! <laughs> Stay foxy and much love.